All right, I just wanted to do a video on this uh, satanic agenda of transhumanism and how it's going to lead to mass casualties. And yeah, you know, you say a lot of things are satanic. Well, yeah, I mean, Satan's doing a lot of things in these last days. So, and this transhumanism is part of Satan's agenda. And basically what happens is that uh, this transhumanism, the singularity of transhumanism will not rescue people from death. It will lead to death. Everyone dies. That's the result of this tra transhuman transhumanism singularity type mentality. So I'm going to read this article on, uh, where is it on? It's on BT, the website's called. Uh, transhumanism basically will lead to mass casualties. That's what I said earlier, but that's the point of the video, okay? It's part of Satan's agenda. Again, again it all ties back to the Jesuit Illuminati plan of uh, pushing in the Antichrist, okay? And this will, this will give evidence of that right here. So this is what the article says. Uh, what are we to do about death? To live is to live in its shadows. Death haunts us and shapes much of our culture, especially religion. Each one of us knows that we will die, but, uh, we, but we spend most of our lives happily ignoring that fact. Last week, I came across Jack, a Jack London quote that really forced me back on my heels in relationship to his overwhelming question. Today, I want to reflect a, a bit on it, especially in light of what's called transhumanism and his attempt to, quote, conquer death. Okay. That is uh, playing God. It's satanic, plain and simple. It's just atheism, Luciferianism. It's playing God. And that is what Satan tried to do in, in uh, Isaiah chapter 14, verses 12 to 15. He tried to play God. He wanted to become like God. He told Eve in Genesis chapter 3, verse 5, you, could, you shall be as gods. So playing God is an atheist Luciferian agenda. Continuing. Uh, so what does this have to do with transhumanism? As a general definition, transhumanism is, quote, a belief or theory that the human race can evolve beyond its current physical and mental limitations, especially by means of science and technology. The ultimate limit for human beings is, of course, death. Many transhumanists hope to use science to escape death. That is why some folks plan to freeze their corpses in the hopes of being revived later when technology progresses. Okay, what does the Bible say? Death, what is, de what is death the cause of? It's because of sin. You have a sinful body. Okay, Romans chapter 6, verse 23, James chapter 1, verses, I believe it's 15 to 17, and many, many uh, sorry, James chapter 1, verse 13 to 17, uh, the whole context there. Uh, Romans chapter 8, verse, uh, I believe it's verse 3 or 2. Many, many other scriptures. You know, Genesis chapter 2, verse 19, Genesis chapter 3, verse 19. Okay, or sorry, Genesis chapter 2, verse 17. I do apologize. Uh, death is the result of sin. Okay, you die because you have a sinful body. And no amount of science is going to uh, overthrow what God said would happen. That's why I say this transhumanism is satanic. They're trying to overthrow and play God. They're trying to overthrow God's natural order and act like they're like God. They want to basically restore themselves to their pre-incarnate uh, state before Adam and Eve sinned and gave man a sinful body of flesh. Okay, it, you know, sinless perfectionism is the Luciferian. See, sinless perfectionism and transhumanism go hand in hand. Sinless perfectionism, you want to become sinlessly perfect and get out of your sinful flesh. That's what transhumanists believe. So, so sinless perfectionism and transhumanism both are two sides of the same Luciferian agenda, which I could go off that, that for a while too, but it's, just, it's, trying, it's basically just trying to play God and overthrow his natural order for the human body, okay? Which we brought, on, which we brought upon ourselves because of our sin. But continuing, quote, the ultimate hope rests in, quote, the singularity, which uh, when the capacity of computers accelerates uh, exponentially, uh, leading to general artificial intelligence, as part of this machine awakening, there will also come the possibility of uploading your consciousness into a silicon, guaranteeing a type, a kind of immorality, immortality, as long as you are a machine, as long as there are machines to store and process your connected tome. Personally, I find the goals of transhumanists to be both tragically misguided and dangerously wrong-headed in the most literal sense of the word. The misguided part is beautifully summed up in the London quote, how can there be life without death? How can our time have any meaning uh, without its uh, term uh, terminus? Sorry, again, not good at reading on a computer, so just bear with me, uh, terminus. To borrow a page from the Buddhists and a lot of other spiritual traditions, death isn't just out there somewhere. Every moment is arising, is an arising and a failing. Every instant of, is a birth followed by a death. To miss this point is to miss what makes uh, life living, basically makes what living so uh, poignant and is so ripe with purpose and potential. Again, not good at reading on a computer, but he brings up a good point, okay? Life is important. And again, why do we die? Because of sin. But the transhumanists want to play God and override them. They are being used, but they are following the Luciferian agenda, okay? 
Uh, finally, end of the article that I'm going to read. Uh, yet, death is scary and freaky, but on the other hand, I have no direct idea of what, it's actually, of what it actually involves, having never been dead myself. Uh, given the reality, my job is to live this life as completely as possible. You engage fully in its richness and its sorrows and its beauty, or you can miss it by worrying about when or how this aspect of being ends. Okay, that's the whole thing about the transhumanist agenda. They don't want to just say, hey, how can I live life now? Okay, if you're a Christian, you, your mentality would be, how can I serve God now, obviously. That'd be your mentality before the rapture. But this is part of a Luciferian agenda to, you know, obviously immort immortality is only possible with eternal life through Jesus Christ. But these transhumanists are pushing the Luciferian agenda of playing God. And so, it, again, all of this ties back to the, the Jesuit Luciferian Illuminati agenda of bringing on the Antichrist. That's why I say this is a Jesuit Illuminati plan, this transhumanism. It goes along with atheism and false science. And, you know, this will backfire because it will lead to mass casualties. It will lead to that devastation. And what's the satanic motto of Aleister Crowley? You know, first of all, just do what that looks to be the whole of the law. But also there's a satanic uh, mentality of order out of chaos, the new world order. That's that's what's coming. That's what the transhumanism is tying into, the Luciferian new world order, the Jesuit new world order of Revelation chapter 13, order out of chaos. So just don't be deceived by the satanic transhumanist agenda. It is of the devil. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.